Piping the boiler feed pump to the Castle V16 boiler, a modification to the existing layout. When I fitted this beautiful horizontal south of steam pump to the V6 boiler, I was never happy with the pipe layout, it just didn't look right and it was in the way of the hand pump. I've been looking at this boiler sat on the bench for some time now and I think I have a better solution. First of all I bent a piece of quarter inch pipe, silver soldered unions on the end and fitted it between the check valve and the T-piece that I made and this moves the T-piece down almost level with the other check valve in the boiler. And as you can see from this clip it's no longer in the way of the hand pump handle. All I need to do now is fit this double union between the existing pipe and the new piece of pipe, like this. Not only does it look quite neat, it's altogether better than the previous arrangement. I was going to have the valve facing forward, but in the end I decided to turn it to the side, and there's a good reason for this you'll see in a moment. You will notice that I'm tightening all the union nuts using a Barco spanner. This is an adjustable spanner, and a lot of people don't like them, but think again, this is a Barco adjustable spanner, it's a very accurate precision made item and because the jaws are very wide relative to a normal spanner it's very difficult to round the edges of the nuts unlike when you use a normal thinner spanner. This is the water bypass valve so I need to fit a water bypass pipe to it but not this one, it's too long and it doesn't look right all the angles don't fit with the rest of the piping. So using my medium sized pipe bender I made a new one. And here it is, a much sharper angle and once I've cut this off on the bandsaw and silver soldered a union on the end of it, it should look okay. I'll just make a mark on it where I'm going to cut it. And as if by magic, here is the finished item. I silver soldered a union cone on the end of it and I'm fitting it to the tap. When this boiler is in steam, normally the water bottle holding the water that feeds the boiler is behind it. But so that you can see the principle, I've left it pointing to the side for the moment. And the general idea is I will push a piece of silicone rubber tubing on the end of this pipe, which will return the water from the bypass valve back to the tank from whence it came. And as you can clearly see, the other good thing is it isn't fouling the handle of the hand pump. The next part of the job was something I completely forgot. I need to put a piece of pipe onto the drain cock of the water gauge. I'm not going to use the original nut and union cone. The nut is a quarter by 40 threads per inch and the union cone is for 5 30 seconds of an inch pipe. So sparing no expense I just got a new pair out of my drawer of nuts and union cones. Really these coned unions are called nipples but as some viewers seem to get a bit over excited I call them union cones. Time to test the blow down cock and it works beautifully. And once it's shut off it doesn't dribble at all. This type of water gauge is very well made. I'm just trying for size a piece of silicone rubber on the end of the pipe. This is the general arrangement and how it's going to look, but don't forget the pipe will be facing backwards to return the water to the water bottle that normally sits behind the boiler. I'm much happier with this layout, it's far better than before. This is part of the ash pan of a previous boiler that I used to have and I've drilled a hole in the middle of it then I cut it to size with my bandsaw so it just fits around one of the legs that support the boiler and the idea of this is I open the door, scrape the ashes into the ash pan and then remove it. As this is going to get very hot very quickly I think I'll fit a handle to it. It's a far better idea than just sweeping the hot ashes out onto the plastic covered baseboard. I think this arrangement is far better than the previous one and by way of a comparison here's the previous piping layout. And that's it for this short video, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website, click on the section of the website that says video playlists and by doing that you will find it very easy to find other videos that you may like to watch.